Get ready for your unofficial dental hygiene podcast. These are the tales of two hygienists, one East Coast RDH and one West Coast guy genist. Listen as they tackle the profession of dental hygiene with humor and enthusiasm. Now, please join Michelle Strange and Andrew Johnston as they tell you a tale of two hygienists. All right. We are officially recording. All right. So, hello. <laughs> well, hello. Let me um, try and figure out how I can juggle all of these devices at once. Oh, I'll do this one too. Yep. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hi from Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, episode what? 85? I hope so. What? <laughs> you ask every time and we never look. And Never. We should be better about all of this. But yeah, episode 85-ish. Yep. Um... I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. I know. We didn't put out an episode last week, and my dad called me out on it. He said, I'm waiting for an episode, and I'm like, wow, I think you're the only one of our fans that actually cares enough to say what's what's going on. That's so cute that he listens. My mom has not heard a single one. Not even with her her little cameo on it? No. Oh, that's too bad. I don't even think she understands how to get a podcast. Oh. Well, I mean, if only she had a daughter that did podcasting that could teach her how to do all that. Maybe that's how we um, do our video. If my mom can figure out how to get a podcast on her phone, anyone can figure out how to get yes. a podcast. Oh, that'd be a good video. Mom, let me teach you how to do this. Oh, my gosh. I should do that. She would. <laughs> if she knew anybody saw it outside of us, she would die. That's okay. My mom is not as uh, extroverted as I am. Well, th- she definitely well, she doesn't have to know that she's going to be famous. When is she going to see it? True. Never. Exactly. No, I don't know. Maybe on all of Facebook. Oh. She is on the Facebook. Oh, that's okay. It'll be fine. Yeah. So you're in Arizona. We've been busy. We've had a lot of things going. Plus, I also am uh, still auditioning for your replacement. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about that episode real quick. Actually, before we do any of that, I want to say congratulations to my buddy Todd and his wife Heather for their baby, little Riker. That's why I'm here in Arizona, by the way, just visiting. He's cute, and I love him already. Anyways, that's all. So, Are you there by yourself? Allison's here. Allison and I oh, came okay. down. Yeah. And then, what about the kids now? Who's, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <our laughs> Forgot man, about them so the manager, easily. Uh, Mike is watching them because that's his role as manager of the podcast, is to watch my kids <laughs> whenever so I go away. <laughs> He's our personal assistant too, right, Michelle? So he gets to do, <laughs> do whatever we tell him to do. If that's the case, I got a list for you, Mike. You're in a trouble. A list. <laughs> well, and my boys are coming to Chicago with us this week as well. So, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So that's going to be an interesting little thing. My poor kids. I told them. Wait, you're going to be them. doing all these after hour things? I warned them. I told them. I said, kids, you don't understand. Like, I'm going to be gone. Let me back up. I want to preface this by saying I'm not a terrible father. I was going to say, I wouldn't even do this to my friends. I'd be like, guys, it ain't going to happen. No. I'm not going to be around. <laughs> no. And the thing is, like, we're, you know, we're staying in the hotel where the conference is, so I don't feel so, as bad about that. If they need anything, they could either come down or they could call me. I mean, they have a phone and, you know, we're just a couple floors down. Um, so I don't feel so bad about that, but I told them Zach's done a business trip with me before. And I said, buddy, I'm going to be gone all night long too, like until like midnight and this and that. So, um, I went, I got him some breakfast. I came home for lunch and I went to dinner with him for a couple hours. And then I went out and did more of my business stuff and he loved it. And we got, a, we had a <clears> chance <throat> to go and do, we saw a few things and he had to eat a lot of good food and whatever. Yeah. So he thinks it's going to be like that again. I'm like, buddy, it's not. Like, you guys are going to be in the room watching Netflix for 10 hours a day. <laughs> hours. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's awesome. What so, if they come down to the floor and they're our personal assistants? Oh, I would love it. I'll, I'll get them. Uh, they already have like a white shirt and tie and stuff. So I'll just make Look them Look at there. All I feel it's perfect. They can introduce our guest each time. Oh, my gosh. How great would that be? Put them to work. <laughs> make them earn their keep. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Those flights aren't cheap. Yeah. They need to work for it. Well, and that's the thing, too, is like, you know, since we fly around so much, it was just, I just use my points, my miles. 
So mm-hmm. it wasn't, you know, it was no big deal. And uh, I put him back there in coach with Mike. So Mike has to sit next to them in, in coach. And I think oh I'm flying first class. Oh, my God. Class. I'm pretty sure that so. that makes you a terrible person. I'm sure it does, too. Uh, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> as I'm long not, as you're aware. I'm not debating that part. Hey, everyone. I wanted to break into this podcast real quick because as I was editing, I realized that I never came back to the fact that uh, Mike and I are going to take the kids and go see our buddy Matt up in Milwaukee and catch a Brewers game on the Sunday after Under One Roof. And we have a whole weekend planned, and we're not even flying out until late Monday um, from Chicago. So we're going to do a bunch of touristy things and, and whatever. I just, as I realize that this is a podcast that's going to be out there in the ether for forever, 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 um, I really needed to make it clear that I was not like abusing my kids or anything like that. And it just made me really nervous to think about that. Anyways, back to the podcast. Sorry about that. Well, as have long you ever as you're wondered, aware. Though, like, why do people put kids in first class? Oh, I know. It's such a waste. <laughs> I knew you're the right person to ask that question to. <laughs> no one else would agree with me, but I knew you would. Yeah, it's it is. It's such a waste. It's such a they waste. can't appreciate that. No. And, they and can't why, drink the drinks. Why set their standards so high? Like, yeah. They're, what if they don't have a decent job and they can't afford that in the future? You know, like that's. Well, that's their problem. They should get a better job then. So should you give them, a, uh, give them a taste of the good life now or just get them used to disappointment now so they're used to it when they're older? That's the no, question. No, you show them what it could be and this is what you have to strive and aspire to get. Is so you that do first want class, them in first class class. then? No, they should see you in first class oh, and be like, class. when oh. you work hard, yeah. you get this. <laughs> see, that's exactly what I'm doing. I mean, I'm doing all of those things. This is a good teaching moment for my children. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Parenting um, 101. You know, I mean, I make no uh, qualms about not wanting kids and not being able to stand to be around any that I can't discipline. And so my friend has been all week giving me crap. He's like, you're going to you're gonna want kids one day. You're going to want it. I was like, no, let me show you all the bad ways that I would be a terrible mother. <laughs> <laughs> I would 100% take first class. Yeah. And make them my slaves, pretty much. That's okay. Mommy's got shit to do. Bring me my wine. Like, this is how you use a wine opener. (laughs) (laughs) By, like, three years old, they know how to use a wine opener. (laughs) I was watching... at least fetch uh, a beer. I've been watching a lot of Frasier lately, and I I still want to be very clear. I'm not ever going to drink. But Allison and I were talking about if I was going to drink, on Frasier, they have sherry. Now, I've never, I don't know what that is exactly, but they have these like That's weird what little, you would go with? no, I don't know. I don't think so. But they have the, this, like, it's always sitting in this thing to me that looks like a vase with a little lid on it. And then they like pour out to these little tiny cups or these glasses that are like teeny tiny. And I'm like, how is that even a thing? Yeah, really? I don't understand it, but I'm like, well, maybe that would be me. Maybe I would be. A dainty, sherry-drinking guy. I don't know. I, I bet, know. like, if I give you wine, you're going to want, like, the sweet Moscato or Riesling, Riesling or, or something. something. I feel like, Ugh. I feel, well, I don't know. I try not to think about those, that path anyway. It's just because, like, I, I, the wine actually doesn't, like, it almost makes me want to puke. Not as bad as, like, beer does, but it smells sour to me. Okay. Yeah, and I don't do sour. So anyway, yeah. so let's talk about those episodes that that episode that you recorded with Helen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I let's see. I have so many thoughts about that, Michelle. Okay. So many thoughts. Well, First of all, that's I what happens thank when you can't all show the up. People that yes. <laughs> um, put up with Michelle for a whole episode, and actually they divided it into threes, so they only got like a third of your of yourself. <laughs> So they don't really know what it's like to really be a host yet. And Um, deal with me. And deal with you. I did enjoy. Hmm. I was going to say like the text message I sent to you was like screaming hello because you weren't answering me. (laughs) Which is so bizarre. And I realized like, I wonder if it's because like I over communicate all the time and I just never said like, okay, okay, sure. You didn't. 
And that's I was like, are you getting these? Where are you? And that, yeah. So that, I mean, so that was kind of my fault. I think I, I didn't um, follow my normal pattern of over communicating mm-hmm. things. So sorry about that. I was that. being super needy about it. Yeah, that was weird. But um, <laughs> Peter did a good job. Mm-hmm. He's first of all, he's not as good looking as he, I am. I don't know where he <laughs> thinks he's getting that from. But I don't know. Good for him. <laughs> but you know, I could work with him though. I could tell from his personality, like that's the type of like person. He's I feel like, fun, right? Yeah, I feel like that's the, big personality. I feel Love like that's it. the type of person I am in the op as well. Like you know, we we got a lot of stories now. I don't have where he was saying, "Hey, I've seen generations of families come through, and mm-hmm. I know these people." Unfortunately, I don't have that, but yeah, I feel like I can get close to people like that through just being a dude and being weird and whatever. So that's being that weird. was nice. So um, I liked what Kara had to say, and then Carlos, right? Carlos was the yeah comedian, the middle. Yep. Yeah, I actually haven't met Carlos before. I've seen him on social media a little bit. You know, we're friends on Facebook, but um, I like to go see one of his acts or shows. Yeah, or he's so it. funny. Sets. Sorry, sets. I had such a good time with him. I'm telling you, if there had been wine, I would definitely not have behaved myself. <laughs> Thank God there wasn't wine. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it, that interview could have taken a whole... It could have been one of those ones that never makes it. Yeah. Like we oh, had yeah. a ha- we have a few we've of those. A, yeah, we've had a few of those. Where Michelle gets super inappropriate. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that would have been that probably would have been a good one to keep. We need to have yeah. like uh, a whole separate podcast of like tells you hygienist, not after dark cuz that sounds dirty, after, but <laughs> after show. <laughs> after show. Bloopers. Yeah. And then just like Never made super it explicit. To air. Just like be very careful. <laughs> super explicit. No judging. Kids should not be in the car. Yeah, no judging. No judging. Yeah, that'll be <laughs> fun. We got a lot of funny friends that like to drink like me. Yeah, you know. So of those three, like I was trying to think of like who really could step in as co-host. The answer is none. And what are you looking so scared for? Is someone breaking into your house? I just there's a random dog in my room right now. It's not Lola. Hi, puppy. It's not Lola. Hi, puppy. Lola, who's your friend? Where did you find this person? Where did you find this dog? Oh, my God. Um, I'm glad you saw that because I was terribly confused for a second. Okay, continue on. I'm sure my cousin came home and brought some random dog with him. Okay. Um, this, is, this is the life I live, Andrew. I this, don't know what's happening in my house awesome. most of the time. It sounds awesome. Yeah, so anyways, like I was saying... I don't think any of them could actually take my place, but I could see you easily having another show with any one of them because you guys sound like you guys are having a lot of fun. <laughs> but this is that my is show, so you three back off. <laughs> well, now Emily Bogey, she said she wants to interview too. Oh, I saw that. I'm very aware. <laughs> I'm very aware, Emily. I'm watching you. Ah, I love it. I'm sure there's so many that would take my place too in a heartbeat. Um, I'm sure it goes both ways. I don't. I don't think it goes both ways. There, friend. I think it does. I, I think it does. I think you drive this show. I'm just. I'm just along for the ride. Andrew, we are a team. I won't say another nice thing about you for the rest say, of the day. I was like between that and all, like the backpedaling you did on the other episode about how much we're with Carrie. You're like, oh no, but Andrew's a great guy. Blah blah blah. I'm like, uh, what are you backpedaling for? You had it. You had I it. And don't nice. necessarily. I thought I was also, but I knew Carlos's episode or interview was in between where I pretty much just berated you most of the time. Yeah. But you fluffed it <laughs> before. So I was like, eh. I did. Eh. <laughs> I was like in the back of my head. <laughs> I won't be as awful with Kara. So I think I know it's going to come with Carlos. How many times have I lied to you in my life? <laughs> I'm not keeping track. Oh, well, I feel like it's not, it hasn't been that many, though. It hasn't been that many. You've definitely, you pulled that one over my eyes. That I was, was like, interesting. Damn it. Sorry, buddy. So this is my public yeah, apology, right. Michelle. I'm sorry. For lying, being a big fat liar face. <laughs> yes. So we have, well, today is Sunday for me. This Sunday hopefully is better <laughs> it's than Sunday last for me Sunday. Too. Last Sunday. <laughs> 
I don't know what time zone. I'm only in Arizona, buddy. This is not across the world. <laughs> Thank you for calling me on that. One. Oh, yeah, I don't know where I thought you were. In I, don't, world. I don't either. I was trying to segue in the fact that my Sunday last week was real shit. Yeah, let's talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's just jump right into it. So Sunday last week was terrible. Sunday last week, I was on the way to put the boat in, or my friend's boat in, and mm-hmm. um, it came off of the truck and flew into three lanes of traffic and hit a car and then flew into someone's front yard. Okay, so <laughs> you said that all really fast, so let's break it down just a little bit because you said it very nonchalantly. Like, like, kind of like you've told the story a few times before. So I've had this conversation a few times. Okay, slow it down. Um, so you guys were going <clears throat> to so, the lake or whatever, the ocean river we're going on in yeah and on the water in the ocean um and i'm seriously this random dog i think it's my cousin's friend's dog but he's just hanging out in my room right now is he cute um (laughs) yes chocolate lab come here can you see him where are you oh yeah looks like a playful little little boy yeah Okay, so last week um, we were all going to take the boat out. Um, it was uh, I have a friend that has a boat. I have a few friends with a boat. Like I said, I definitely don't want a boat myself because it's a lot of maintenance. So I, I uh, commandeer other people's boats when I'm like, a bunch of friends want to go. Can we have it this Sunday? <laughs> so he, um, we, I carpooled with him, and we were going to the landing, meeting everybody there. And um, he hit a bump in the intersection, and it bounced the tr- the boat so hard that it popped the back of the boat up. And when it came back down, it detached, like the force detached the hitch, the trailer oh, from the no. hitch. Oh, so that's where it detached. I thought the yeah. boat went flying off the trailer. But the trailer... Oh, it did eventually. Oh, my gosh. It did once it hit the car. <laughs> so oh we felt it and looked in the rearview mirror and like the safety chain, everything popped off. Like it was a, a mechanical failure to the nth degree even the cops were like because everything was still locked and where it should have been right everything just broke like everything that was supposed to work did not work oh, no. so um it's a very strange thing to like look behind you and see the boat like slowly coming next to you <laughs> as cars are darting one way or the other trying to miss this boat trailer this 22 foot boat coming at them um, and I so feel like that's like an out. on a comedy, like a 70s oh comedy God. thing. If, like you look it, over and your boat's right there. Like, oh, hello, boat. Hello, boat. And you'd be like, double take. It, I'm like, what? So crazy. So um, all the cars darted. It, one car was parked because we had just taken off from a light. So we weren't going that fast. Mm-hmm. And one car couldn't get out of the way. And it clipped the front passenger side of it. And when the trailer hit that the boat went flying across the other lane of traffic into somebody's front yard oh my gosh but no one was seriously hurt at all right no one was hurt at all oh my gosh it was a a miracle and my friend i kept saying i was like because he was super calm and everything with it and i was like when is your freak out moment like your baby your boat is literally sitting in someone's front yard (laughs) like when do you freak out? And he's like, no one was hurt. Like, that could have been so bad. He's like, boat can be fixed. You know, no one's hurt. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's so true. So it took, like, hours to um, get that boat back out of the road. We put up, we totally screwed up traffic in Charleston for quite a few hours. Wow. And then I saw somewhere, yeah, like, good time. you had some friends, like, like, someone was driving by, they took a picture of it, and you're like, wait, that was us, or whatever. Oh my gosh, Every, there wasn't a person that drove by that didn't have their phone, like recording or snapping pictures. Um, it made on so many Facebook pages, like by the time I got back home and like looked on Facebook, like me on the side of the road next to this boat in, in the front yard was everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. It was an, an adventure, so I'm hoping this Sunday is going to be a little bit better. <laughs> well, good. Yep. I hope so, so too. So this week, though, we are super busy. Oh my gosh, we're super, super busy. We have RDH. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. This, so we have our doodle poll up, and we'll probably post yeah. this episode today um, sometime, maybe. And um, so RDH is coming up. Well, I fly out Wednesday morning, 
And the goal is I'm going to spend time with Mike and the kids. We're going to go to a Peruvian restaurant that we really like. And you're invited to Michelle if you want to go. Uh, blah, blah, oh, blah. Thanks. Um, and then we have all the, the kickoff parties and all of that and some interviews scheduled for that night. Um, mm-hmm. And then, yeah, Thursday, early morning, we got some stuff going on. Uh, that's the coffee, the not the coffee chat, but... Thursday, coffee and conversation. Coffee and All conversation. that um, want a cup of great coffee. Um, the big bar at the Hyatt, where the RDH under one roof is being held, is um, having our, our friend from Mouthmate, Sheree, um, she is having coffee for all of us because it's so hard to find coffee at these things yeah. sometimes like yeah, it's, it is uh, you and i have gone where because <laughs> you know i like looking for my coffee and i'm like where yeah. is it adha so, was just brutal for michelle yeah it was it really was so now we'll have coffee you do just need to rsvp and that link is in our um facebook page uh, so find that on our Facebook page, but come have a cup of coffee and chat with us, be on the podcast. We still want to record mm-hmm. your, it, our, we want you to record our intro for us. You know, welcome to your unofficial dental hygiene podcast. Um, hear your voice on one of our podcasts and, or come be on an episode. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, I think, I think I narrowed down. We're not going to do 21 episodes at RDH. I think Thank we're you. We're going to do 18 so okay, that's a big difference. <laughs> I took three time slots away for us. Oh, um, thank you. And then what else is going on? We have, uh, well, you have your thing on Saturday morning, right? Yeah, I'm lecturing, which, you know what just dawned on me? Like, oh, crap. I'm lecturing R- at RDH. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, you, yeah. I, I, that, oh, it my gosh, Michelle, me. where have you been? This is, I yeah. don't even understand how that's happening. Like that's a Super Bowl of meetings. Yeah, this is. Oh my gosh, it's hard because like we don't really want to step on people's toes and like say, "Oh, this is our favorite favorite uh, conference of all time." Yeah. <clears throat> but it's a big well, one. It's just it's, different. It's a different conference. It's yeah. just a different vibe. It's a different reason. You go. You is not less business meetings and things like that. So that it's right. just different. Right. Definitely. But I mean, ADHA and RDH are one of our two biggest dental hygiene conferences. Yeah. And I'm lecturing at one Yeah, that's for huge. the first time. That's like, huge, Michelle. Well, the, the thing is, I mean, on my end, because I'm kind of the outsider of this, I'm like, it makes sense. Like you're, you're good at what you do. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just kind of choking on my own words. <laughs> you got a hairball? You got a hairball? Oh, yeah, you don't suck. And so, like, I'm glad. What are you presenting on? You're doing piezo, right? Yeah, implant maintenance with piezos in office maintenance and um, just kind of understanding implants. No, is yours assessment a workshop or is it a regular yeah. course? It's a workshop. Yeah, hands on. Yeah, so that's, I mean, I don't know if it's too late to sign up for that, but crap, you guys need to do that I'd, for sure. Yeah, I don't know if we're at our limit or not because I was kind of cut it down. I was like, I can't handle 50 people <laughs> yeah yeah that's a lot it's a lot for a hands-on course especially if you really want to like teach properly i think mm, so mm. we'll see i'm not sure what it capped out at um what else do we got going on we have well we do have a meeting also with a bunch of people that are going to be part of our podcast network and so we're going to talk about what that's going to look like and when we're going to launch that and um what kind of content people are going to produce and and so we'll have some more updates for you guys probably in a few weeks about that. But I'm very excited mm-hmm. about some because it's going to be, you know, you guys listen to this show, which uh, for whatever reason, I'm not really sure why, whether it's going to be for Michelle and I don't understand or why. <laughs> our interviews, the guests. Definitely are really for awesome. the interviews. It's got to be. Definitely. But, I mean, I feel like we have a, a decent variety. Like we're kind of like, I don't want to say the Today Show, but we're like a little bit of everything kind of thing. But we have some people that want to do very specific like dental hygiene niche podcasts that I think are really going to be mm-hmm. good with, you know, board review stuff um, and prep for that. We have, you know, just the funny, the silly side of dental hygiene and just nothing but craziness. And a lot of these are going to be kind of shorter formats, not these hour to hour and a half long ones we do. Sorry guys. But yeah, um, yeah so I'm, I'm really looking forward to what they have to, to offer and, what we can bring you guys. So that's, that's going to be really exciting. I'm, I'm very excited for that meeting and it's Chicago. Like Chicago's awesome. 
Yeah. I'm excited. I hopefully I get to go out. I, you know, I'll be at Tepe at the booth working. So technically, I'm working, working. Um, so if if you're around, please come say hi. Um, you know, Tepe management has changed over, so I have all my my new peeps with me at this one. This will be their first show, so it'll be fun and exciting to like so show come them. Come make Michelle what look like. good. You know what I mean? Like just come say hi. Yeah. <laughs> like make her look like she's famous because that'll make all the difference if. In future conferences, you know, she can split her time. So let's do that. I mean, um, that never hurts. Yeah, I think we might have, we may be having a table part-time, possibly, maybe. Here, you know, one of the things, and I, I'm not really sure how much Penwell wants us to share with you guys, but um, we were going to have a booth, but this year got sold out. Like, they got so it's popular. huge this year. And yeah. And you know, so I just, excited. so yeah, so we couldn't be happier for that. I mean, it sucks that we don't have our own booth, but you know, at the same time, you know, they're going to try and accommodate, they're already we'll giving us somewhere. a room, you know, and they're yeah. already giving us so much. Um, so we will have a space to do podcasting in a separate room. Um, we may have a table somewhere or, um, I might just ask to put us in the corner somewhere <laughs> just if we can, or come hang out at the Tepe booth. We'll yeah. have stuff happening. Yeah. So, uh, and, and so on lo- along those lines, big thanks to Penwell for supporting the podcast and, yeah. and being, you know, pretty much one of our biggest um, drivers right now, too. So I, we, we and, appreciate them a lot. And fans. I yeah. love when Michelle comments on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's pretty great. I love her so much. I, I think I've. I, I hate promising things ahead of time, but I want her can, on the podcast. Yeah, so hopefully we can get an episode with her while we're there with drinks. Yes. With the wine. Oh my gosh, that might not make it to air either, but we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Maybe we get some snippets out of it at least. Yeah. Um, anyways, I think that's pretty much all for the, the yeah. wrap up for RDH. It's going to be great. Yeah. And we just wanted to make this a quick and like dirty episode because we are gearing up for a whole lot of episodes coming at you. Uh, a lot of good. My animals, for the love of. Can I get some privacy? I'm recording a her podcast. Her cat was hitting her in the face with her with her tail, his tail, her. Yeah, her tail. Her Look tail. at her. She yeah, is she's precious, terrible. though. And then Lola's over here bothering me too. Ugh, just a mess. I got so many animals in my house right now. It's good anyway, so I uh, just wanted to check in and let all know that. We'll be at RDH, and we look forward to meeting and seeing some faces. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be great. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for listening. Yep. See you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye.